One of the most important things that you have to keep in mind when you're making an application or a game or an animation is the option to debug. Debugging is basically the process in which where you can view your overall project and how it runs. There are two different ways you can get to debug mode. First off, if you like menus, you can left click on debug and then left click on debug right here. If you like shortcuts, you can hold down the command key and hit return on your computer. When you do this, it will open up two different things. First off, it will open up your portfolio and or your application. Second off to the left, it will end up opening up the simulator. The simulator is basically how when you're using a desktop debug like we are in this scenario, that you can actually use the fundamentals of a tablet or a smartphone or device in 3D space. So if we had an accelerometer on this, I could literally tilt this smart device back and forth and see how it affects several other things on my portfolio. However, I don't have an accelerometer on here, but I do have touch and gestures. So on here, you'll notice that touch and gesture shows up and there's this little checkbox for touch layer. So I will left click on that. And after that, I do have a gesture currently on called swipe. So I'll click on that and turn it on in a second. I just want to show you really quick that over in your debug window, you can left click on these buttons and end up going to my different pages. This is part of the debugging process. So for example, if I click on my blue square, I'm supposed to go to my game design page. And now I can see that. But now I need to test my swipe option. So again, I'll go back over here, click on touch layer, and click on swipe. Now the instructions tell me press down the mouse button and move to simulate the action. So all I would have to do is go over the screen, left click and drag like I'm swiping my finger across the screen. And you'll notice that it goes from page to page to page. Now note to yourselves, in order to click on a normal button though, you want to make sure that you turn off the touch layer. So for example, this gray square is supposed to take me to my photography page, but when I left click on it, it's trying to simulate the swipe. So in order for that button to work in the debugger, I would have to click off touch layer, and then I can click on it and it'll work right away. So there's a few little handy dandy tools you can end up using while debugging. For example, the touch layer, whether you're panning, rotating, zooming, or swiping with a gesture or doing any other type of touch with your finger on your smart devices. And we can also just replicate the idea of debugging and making sure our buttons work. So overall debugging is a great thing to do early and often and a lot. So just keep that in mind that debugging will definitely help you whether it is on the desktop or whether you actually port it out to a tablet or a smartphone or device.